What's happening all you most amazing people? Just letting you guys know, I'm doing a $500 giveaway contest on my Instagram account. All you have to do, go to my Instagram, at Landon Productions, follow me, and then go to this picture right here I've uploaded onto Instagram, and just tell me what would you guys do with the money. I'll pick a winner, and I'll announce it on Instagram, and also on a future video on this channel. So good luck to all of you guys. If we have a ton of people entering for this giveaway, maybe I'm gonna do a whole lot more for you guys. We're just gonna be giving it all away. Okay, so enough of that. This is the top 10 YouTubers who should have run for president. Running for president just seems to be a popularity contest, and YouTubers these days, well, they've been gaining millions of subscribers and a ton of mainstream media attention. So why not? Why can't they run for president? In the comment section below, tell me who would you guys vote for president? Okay, so starting off this list, and at number 10, we have Scarce. He disappeared on YouTube for a while, but he's back. He's finally back, yes. Scarce is such a great guy. He's a very likable guy to millions. He's very humble. He probably doesn't even know how good he is. But I think he should become the next American president. He already has that presidential look. Scarce is a very intelligent guy, and you need someone very smart in the Oval Office. I think we can be confident with Scarce making the right decision decisions for a nation. Many of the big YouTubers on the platform have never really had anything bad to say about Scarce, and that's a hard thing to do. I think he can get a nation to fall in love with him just like he's gotten a whole audience to fall in love with him on YouTube. And Scarce is a person that listens to people, so he will listen to the American people and to see what they want. I believe he will make a much happier country. At number 9, we have a one of our own. I would elect myself, but I think I'd be like one of the worst presidents. But we're talking about Danny Burke. In the comment section below right now, put hashtag Danny Burke for president. I'm not gonna tell him we're doing this, but let's see if he finds out. And also go to his Instagram and spam it, Danny for president, all over. Let's see how he reacts, and let's see if he mentions it in one of his future videos, maybe in like dumbest tweets or something. Danny Burke is clearly a very intelligent person and one of the kindest at heart people. So with Danny as your president, we would have a person who cares about the nation. His intelligence would help guide him into making the complex and quick on the button decisions. If North Korea attacks, Danny's gonna have the answer. No matter what Danny puts his mind into, he's 100% all in. That's what you need from a president. I think as long as he does have some downtime to play some video games, aka Civ, Civilization, or like League of Legends in the Oval Office, I think he's gonna be a happy guy. I would say Rebecca Felgate, but she's more like of a queen. So if we were doing a top 10 YouTubers who should become the next queen, I would definitely put Rebecca as number two. But at number Number eight right now, we're talking about Logan Paul. Logan Paul is a little bit crazy. Oh no, he's diving! He's he's getting oh out of the God. car! Stop talking! Okay, oh. well. Yes. Do you know who I am? Is there a reason you honked at me? Oh crap, can you back up? What is he gonna do? Well, he, I don't know, he's, he's kind of crazy. He's kind of people do crazy stuff. What? What? Oh my Stop God, he has two head. shirts? Oh You're gonna be scared of a guy who has two shirts? Okay. Yo! Okay, maybe he's a lot crazy. But with his personality, other countries would be way too afraid to mess with America because you don't know what Logan Paul's gonna do. He's gonna smash. He's just gonna grab unlimited plates and smash. Logan Paul represents everything about America, and he has learned to bring people together. On his YouTube channel, he has around 10 million subscribers. At the time of this recording, he has a brand called Maverick, and it's a movement that he's doing. He's inspiring people to be the best person that you can be, and he even has me inspired. With the tenacity, Logan Paul will be able to become a strong leader for the country. Now at number seven, we have Jenna Marbles. She would be great as the first ever female president of the United States. Jenna Marbles has almost 20 million and subscribers on her YouTube channel, so we all know she would receive a lot of election votes if she was actually running. People love Jenna Marbles. With Jenna Marbles as president, she would just tell it how it is. She's always brutally honest. If something is bad or about to like go bad, she'll just tell us. Also, she is a very down-to-earth person with the young people. Because I'm just like you. I even like all the same things that you do. I love the vines. These nuts got him. <laughs> I'm friends with Oprah. <laughs> I'm a regular on the tweeter totter, just like you. Notice me, send pal five seconds of summer. Send pals, notice me. Oh, that was quick. Send pals noticed me. <laughs> Number six, we can't have a list like this and not include H3H3 production. This guy is a legend. Vape Nation would be ruling the world. All foreign leaders would respect Ian as the president and do whatever he wants. Ian is a very intelligent guy and someone who you can relate to a lot. He's a very genuine guy. 
guy and this is what is needed from a president. I would vote Ian as president if I was able to on just one condition. It would have to be a condition where he still produces YouTube videos. I don't want him to run a country and then be like, hey guys, I was able to produce today because I was doing like nuclear codes. You know, I'm trying to fend off North Korea. I'm trying to save the world. I mean, no excuses, buddy. Make videos. Ian, buddy, vape nation. You gotta vape the world. Number five in Niga Higa. So with Niga Higa, we will always get the truth no matter what. And a little bit of comedy. Okay, a lot of comedy. Niga Higa has made a ton of videos about running for president or how to run for president, and he's done a lot of compelling speeches that would make him the next American president if he ran. Here are some things that Niga Higa would do if he was the president. At number four, we have Superwoman. If Jenna Marbles can't be the first American female president, then Lily Singh, aka Superwoman, should be. Superwoman has gained over 12 million subscribers on YouTube, and that's because of her inspiring and motivating views that she has on the world. Superwoman is a very positive and strong female person. Superwoman already has a great relationship with the previous first lady of the states, Michelle Obama. I'm a huge advocate for education, as you are. With my campaign of Girl Love, I believe that girls around the world should all have access to education. Absolutely. And I know with your program, Reach Higher, you believe that kids should go beyond getting the high school diploma and get Absolutely. their college degree. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we're encouraging kids to take control of their educational future. Getting an education beyond high school. Superwoman would be leading a campaign that will be built for the future of America. She would be putting education and equality forward. Number three, we have Cenk Uygur. You know the guy from the Young Turks. This guy's a legend. This is a guy who's been talking politics on YouTube since 2005. When was YouTube created? 2005. He's been here since the start. He became the first ever channel and the most successful channel talking about politics and crazy news stories from around the world. If you guys need a guy who is the most knowledgeable about politics, laws, regulations, then you go to Ian H3H3. But secondly, you would come to this guy. Jinx seems to have a pretty strong vision for the future of America and he has showed this effectively through his YouTube channel that has billions of views. People listen to him for a reason, and being the president, everyone will also listen to him. He has reasonings on both sides of the spectrum of debates and conversations, which means he takes in opinions from everyone, and then he takes those opinions and then forms his own opinion. That seems to be some qualities of a strong president, a strong leader. Number two, John Green. John Green is one of the most intelligent business and political guys on YouTube right now. He is the creator of VidCon, which is the biggest YouTube event, the most successful YouTube YouTube event. He is a New York's best-selling author. He wrote The Fault in Our Stars that was turned into a great Hollywood movie. Also, with his brother by his side, Hank Green, I think they would be capable of running a country. On their YouTube channel, they've been very involved with voicing their opinions on the US elections and what they think about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. You can tell that they're very passionate about the world and the future of it. Finally, at number one, we have Philip DeFranco. Philip DeFranco is the godfather of YouTube and has become one of the most educated people when it comes to economy, world events, and what's happening in the damn world. Philip DeFranco never lets media affect him. He likes to find the truth in all stories. On his YouTube channel, he doesn't like to make videos just to get views. Those are the old days. Now, he likes to make sure what he's saying is fact, is the truth. Most articles, websites, newspapers like to talk about things just because it goes viral without even knowing that the information is true. With Philip DeFranco as president, he will be truthful to the nation and allow the American people to know what is is the truth about what is really going on with America. I think we can trust him to make great decisions and he's such a people person. Well, that's the end of this video for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a whole lot of fun and I'll see you guys all in the next video.